welcome back to Jackson's YouTube channel. Today we'll be making a fire stick. Otherwise known as fire wire. And what we've got here is a piece of copper wire to grab onto our flammable. And what is our flammable, Jackson? Now, you're also going to want to unroll this just like this. It's like a tape roll. So steel wool comes in lots of different types of what would you call it? Fineness. And we've got zero, zero. And what we've done is unraveled it to make these very pillow-like structures. Now what's happening here is you've got the oxidation of iron happening, really to make rust. But when we put this together and we add a little energy, what happens? We make fire. We make fire. Okay. So Jackson, show these people how we're going to Assemble this into our copper wire. Roll this up a little bit. So what you're Stick going to do there. is you're going to add them together and you're going to roll them up very gently. Very gently with no force. You're also going to want to make sure to make this hole. It helps a lot. Then okay, let's you're going cinch to this down. Make sure it's right in the middle. Okay. Cinch it down hard. Yes. Don't want to lose control while we're spinning it around. Got it? Good. Alright, good. Now, on the other end of our fire wire here, as it's called. We need to be able to swing this around overhead, so we've got a carabiner to attach to the other end, and then we've got some flexible wire here so that we can swing this around overhead. Now what we need to do next is add a little energy to this. In our case, we'll just be using a lighter. That will help to start the oxidation process of the iron that's in this steel wool, and uh, as it oxidizes really quickly with the air going through it and it turns to iron oxide, you will see the sparkler effect. So let's head out to the field. Your cue, go. Okay, also make sure you have safety goggles, a coat, and a hat just for protection because safety is always first. Go. Okay, we're going to put some energy on this steel wool now. We're just going to use a lighter and get the corner going. And then Jackson here is going to show us how it's done. Okay, start spinning. Whoa! And there That's... was our fire wire. Yep. You ready, Jack? I don't really have anything to say. Three, two, one, go. So that was sick. But just remember, you're going to want to use zero zero fuel to get arson effect and just to make sure this you don't you don't want this part to burn or else it will mess up the whole thing. I think in our spinning we actually lost a big chunk, didn't we? Yes, we it did. It kinda went flying off the end. Maybe it would be better if we could encapsulate the steel wool in a ball. There's one video where a guy uses a kitchen whisk and he puts the steel wool inside the whisk, and that seems like it might be a really good idea. What do you think, Jackson? Yeah, and then just attach it to this. Because this and one little loop it. here seems like we kind of lose some of our product. Yes. Yeah. For watching, give us a like. That was Firewire. Thank you for watching. Give us a like. Bye.